everyone, it's Bob McCraney with Textified Realty Group, and today I am honored to be speaking with Rayann Wallace. Rayann is a lender friend of ours. Rayann, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Rayann Wallace, as you said, I've been a mortgage loan officer now for about 20 years. Um, can't believe it's been that long, but um, crazy market times. I work for Cardinal Financial, and um, I don't know, what else do you need to know? <laughs> I'm an well, Aries. I have three kids. <laughs> I'm an Aries. That's great. Um, so, so let's go through a couple of the basics with lending because, you know, I get clients who call me up and say, I want to see this great house. And we always say, do you have a pre-approval letter yet? Because when we go see the great house and you want to write an offer, you better have that letter. And otherwise it's like, I'm putting a puppy in your arms and you can't have that puppy because we didn't right. check it yeah. out first. So tell people what the difference is maybe between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification. So pre-qual is basically you fill out an application, I pull your credit, and you tell me your income and your assets. And you say this is, and I give you a pre-qualification letter based on what you told me. To me, those are worthless. It's a completely, you know, without me checking the income and the assets and saying, yes, we've run it through automated underwriting and we have something to hang our hat on with that approval, you're, you're basically, you know, have the potential at least to set everyone up for disappointment and cost people money. A pre-approval is when we take the full application, I call, I ask questions, we go through scenarios, I look at your pay stubs, I look at your W-2s, if you're self-employed, we look at tax returns in depth, um, and that way, you know, there's, we basically eliminate 99% of surprises that could come up because we go through the file as if an underwriter reviewed it up front. There's also, like, we have a level two pre-approval, which is actually where we send it to an underwriter. Um, because of volume right now, we try not to do that unless it's a questionable file, just because we don't want them underwriting files that don't have a contract yet. We want them focused on the business that's at hand. But, but we definitely, I mean, like I said, I've been doing this 20 years. So if I've reviewed your income and your assets and your credit, and I have your loan application, it, if I give you a pre-approval letter, there, there's definitely some meat to it. Okay, great. So let's talk about volume right now. I hear that lenders are snowed under. Tell me about that. Oh, it's crazy. Good problems for us, absolutely. But yeah, so normally, you know, in underwriting, our normal turn times at Cardinal Financial are one to two business days. Right now, we're at two weeks. So it's, and it's just, you know, it's a matter of volume. It's not because anybody's incompetent or it's just sheer volume. We're trying to hire underwriters as quickly as we can. I think our underwriting staff has quadrupled in the last four months, but you know, you have to take time to train and get those people up to, up to speed on the way we do things. And so you just have to plan on that. So more than ever getting pre-approved up front with, you know, look, somebody looking at your income docs, and then as every time the lender asks you for documentation, like it's asking how high on the way up when they say jump. So, and then the frustrating part for most buyers right now is that you're working with a lender that's like, I need this now, I need this right now, right now, stop what you're doing, send it to me. And then you don't hear from me for two weeks. And that's because we're waiting in line for the underwriter. Mm -hmm. But if we don't do that jumping on the front end, then we've got to wait in that line again to get those documents later when the underwriter. So this is a hurry up and wait, business. hurry up and wait, hurry exactly. up and wait sort of exactly. business. Right. Exactly. Especially right now, for sure. Okay. So where are you seeing rates head right now? Well, they, you know, they, they hovered pretty low. All the big brains are saying they're going to stay there for a bit of time. However, even though the, the bond market is what drives interest rates and the bond market's doing really well right now, Typically, this isn't always true, but typically if the stock market is suffering, the bond market is improving. And so as the stock market declines, typically you also see interest rates get lower. Um, however, that being the case, you also have to take other things into consideration like inflation, <clears throat> obviously volume. There's, there's a lot of things that go into determining what interest rates are available. And right now, it's, it's a great time. And I would say you know, one of the fears I always have in telling people, oh, these rates are going to stay where they are for a while is I don't, I don't want to um, be misleading and not give anybody a sense of urgency because there's no guarantees of how long right. these rates are going to last. So if you're planning on buying a house anytime in the next 12 months, the sooner the better, I would say, because there's no way to guarantee that they're going to Where are rates right now, do you think? 
On a 30-year fixed rate uh, conventional loan, we're at about 2.99 today on average. Um, you know, obviously, in some cases, I can go a little bit lower if you have an 800 credit score and it's a $400,000 loan amount and you're putting 40% down. You know, the, all of those risk factors go into determining right. the interest rate. And so the lower your risk rating is, then the lower your interest rate is going to be. 15-year rates, we're in the mid twos right now. So wow. that's, I mean, 2.5% on a 15-year fixed rate is very comparable to what, you know, a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 6.5% would be. So you're, you'd be making the same payment and paying it off in 15 years instead of 30. Wow. If you bought your house five years ago at a six and a quarter rate, you could refinance it to a two and a half rate today and have the same payment on 15 years you would pay on 30. And so. the buying power, the buying power at the higher exactly. rate is much better. So Rayanne, exactly. how would somebody reach exactly. out to you? Uh, my website is the best way, dallasmortgagegirl.com, and there's an online application there. You can also email me, first name, dot last name, rayann.wallace at cardinalfinancial.com, or my cell is 214-914-5469. Say it again. 214-914-5469. See you next quarter. Will you come back and chat? Yeah, absolutely. Would love to. Appreciate you having me. Okay. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.